Good morning everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So I hope you're all well my darlings. It's half past ten on a Saturday morning. Um, yeah, so I've been checking through my emails and I've had lots of donations overnight. So my total for my breast cancer just giving thing is now up to hundred just under £125. And then I think my mum's got £75 that she raised at her house. And then I've also got another seven pounds something in my little pink pot that we raised when we went walking around the town yesterday so we've raised quite a lot of money um i'm not sure what the total is yet but i will let you know but thank you so much if you did donate it's so so kind of everybody it just shows how little bits all add together and it's just so kind so thank you so much so i hope you enjoyed the pink day yesterday no idea what we're doing today it's probably going to be a bit boring um but i thought our video anyway so it just shows that it is just real life so i'm not sure what's happening but it's saturday so happy saturday everyone so my hubby's mission of the day where's he gone um my hubby's mission of the day can you see him through the door he's very busy he's washing cars i've been informed well, I feel sorry for him because he works all week and it's nice for them to potter about and do what they want to do. So he's going to have a busy day of washing cars and picking leaves up with his leaf blower thing, I think. So that's his mission of the day. So my mission of the day, probably some tidying up, clearing out again. I've just had my third cup of tea of the day in my mug of the day. Um, here I am. <laughs> so I'm not as pink as yesterday so I've got my baggy jeans on that my husband said I look like a clown in um, I've got this cool jumper on if I can show you, hang on, the sleeves are really cool so it's got like shaped sleeves can you see that? it's really really funny it's quite cropped so I have to wear it with sort of really high waisted jeans because otherwise it'd be far too short but it's just, I really like the sleeves it's really like fluffy and pretty look you know i love a good jumper anyway so uh we need to finish the washing up and see what else we can get up to <sighs> right i'm just in my little sewing room stroke beauty room stroke messy dump room where things you don't want anymore get dumped um so i'm just having a bit of a tide around i'd like to make it really fancy in here but it never looks that fancy because things just get dumped in here so i'm gonna have a bit of a tide around in here i think like i've got that beautiful blanket and I just don't know where to put it because it's really thick and it's really warm. Oh, I've got a squeaky floorboard in here as well. Um, but I don't know where to put it because it's so big and thick. And in this house, we don't have an airing cupboard. So it's really annoying. There's nowhere to keep blankets and stuff. So I'm trying to now rack my brains and think, where can I store that till it gets really cold and we really need it? I found the perfect spot. I've hidden it behind the chair. Nobody would ever know. You can't see it when you walk in the room. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well done, Jane. Perfect hiding place. As you can see, I now need to reflump my cushions. Look at my cushions. Look at the cute dog. <laughs> but this is the reality of real life. So, was it Wednesday or Thursday? I spent all day making everyone look fancy. And within a couple of days, it becomes a mess again. So, we need to have a quick flump again. <sighs> so, when you start clearing out, you find random things. Look at my bag. <laughs> look at my bag so this is a fuzzy nation um dog bag look like it when you're fred it's very cute it's just like you look so it's a fuzzy nation bag i've owned it for like forever um but i don't want it anymore so i think i'm going to put it on my ebay shop so my ebay shop the link is in the comments down below or i think it is so i have been having to clear out these last couple of weeks so I will keep handing more and more random things, but he's even got his own box, look. It's a fuzzy nation. Yeah, do you like him? <laughs> You're not going to go near him because you'll cover him in hair. Yes. Uh, oh, and here's Florence as well. Look, Florence, we've got a new dog. <laughs> right, anyway, I need to photograph it and put it on eBay. <laughs> Real life. Real life. Yes, I am sat on the kitchen floor. And yes, Winifred is leaning against me. It's so cute. <laughs> so I've just been photographing my little dog because my friend might want to buy it. So I'm going to send the pictures to my friend first before I put it on eBay. So I was just taking the photos and Miss Winifred decided to join me. Are you sat with me? Am I sat at your level? <laughs> you are funny, aren't you? Hey, are you funny? <laughs> I make sure that you're definitely touching me. You are definitely touching me, Winifred. Do you love me? Do you love me? Hey, 
You're very cute. You look at your little face. Oh, up close and personal, eh? It's coffee break time, and I have no idea what this music is, but it's so cool and so relaxing. <laughs> it's really funny. Do you like the music? Is it relaxing? I have no idea why you're leaning on that heater. It's not on. So if you're feeling cold, leaning against a cold heater won't help. Get in your bed. Go and sit in your bed where it's warm. The heater is not on. It's not on, no. <laughs> She's got a cute head on today, hasn't she? Are you being daft? So, next exciting thing dot com. Ruby's had this arrived, which lovely Victoria ordered Ruby for her birthday. Ruby is now absolutely over the moon. You are so lucky, isn't it cool? It's an Uddy. An Uddy. Mm -hmm. An Uddy, Victoria, it arrived. Oh my God, it's so funny. Do you like it, Winnie? It's cool, isn't it? Yay! Right, so we've got to dinner time. So for dinner today, I've got mackerel in brine, um, some little seafood sticks and some little tomatoes. So off to enjoy my dinner. Right, Ruby's gone out to play with friends, hallelujah! It's so hard to get children out to play nowadays, isn't it? So, it's ten past one, we've got the whole afternoon, I need to do something really creative, so I think I'm going to carry on tidying up my little sewing room. Um, it's a bit windy and a bit cold outside, I don't know what else we'll do, so I'm going to carry on clearing out. Well, I found some more washing! So, I just want to share this with you, these are really nice. Uh, my mum gave me them and you just throw a few in with your washing and it just makes your clothes smell so nice. So I can definitely recommend those if you like your washing to smell nice. Really lovely. <sighs> it's a hard life clearing out, isn't it, Winifred? <laughs> Look at your little squishy face. So it's 20 to 3. I'm still clearing out. I've got another bin bag to put some stuff in. It can't be a really good clear out. So we'll get to 3 o'clock and then we'll pop the kettle on. <sighs> still clearing out. So I've just found a load of false nails. So I've not worn false nails for ages. I used to wear them quite a lot. Um, but I don't wear them anymore. Look how cool they are. Oh, the charity shop's going to love me when I donate all this stuff. And of course we find random things like this. So <laughs> this was my microphone. Uh, it's actually a toilet roll. It was my microphone when I was about eight. I think my mum made it for me. So it's got an original Rick Astley sticker on it, a uh, Karen Minogue sticker on it, a uh, little extra club, which I think was the Halifax uh, bank thing at the time. But it's sponge in the top. My mum made it into a microphone a lot, and I used to sing along to Top of the Pops uh, when I used to watch Rick Astley and stuff on it. And I've kept it it's so old, so old. I'm 43, and I was probably about eight when my mum made it for me. Mm, and now I've just had it forever, so I shall just keep it forever. And I think this stuff here was the border in my bedroom i think i know i had a pink and gray bedroom so i think that's what it was oh just some things are just so precious aren't they <laughs> i can't believe i've shared that with you all because it's just so random and so funny the kettle is on well deserved nice cup of coffee i think mm, this seems to be coming a regular saturday thing it's really nice and I like a little bit with my coffee. It's so nice. So this is my Saturday afternoon treat. <sighs> right, we're back up here. It's about four o'clock, um, but I'm still busy clearing out. So I've emptied some bits out of some of the cubes and stuff. And yeah, trying to think what I need, what I don't need. It's very hard to let sentimental things go, but you can't keep everything. So I'm still, f f I can't even get my words out. I'm still faffing about. Oh. Ooh, the things you find in boxes. So I found a Louboutin carrier bag and then I found this that Ruby made for me in 2017. So it's all Ruby's like little favourite things that she stuck all over a piece of old wallpaper for me. Oh, how sweet. <sighs> so it's quarter to five. I've managed to clear my sewing desk a bit. So I put my sewing machine in that could be all for now next time I do some sewing and I've still not finished, but it takes so long, do not it? Sorting out old paperwork and bits and bobs. So I really apologise if today's been a bit boring because I've not really done anything, just been faffing and sorting. So we've got tea time. So for tea tonight, we're having this home pride pasta bake, tomato and bacon. It's so nice. So you literally just pour it on the pasta, mix it with a bit of water. It's so lovely. So I'm just waiting for it to cook got to love it that when the tea starts to become ready my little friends suddenly magically appear don't see you for ages and then boom dinner's there ready 
You magically appear. Clever, aren't you? Yeah, very. Oh, it's out the oven. I love teas like this. Naughty, but so nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So a proper nice little cosy tea. So off to enjoy it. <laughs> Ruby, in her ruddy. <laughs> you look very cosy in there, Ruby. Is it nice and warm? <laughs> Right, so tea eaten, Ruby all wraps up. Um, so now I need to go and get my lottery. So uh, this is my new look puffy coat. Somebody asked me about this the other day and I said I would show it and then I forgot. So this is my new look quilted coat, which you can still get now. Um, I don't think you can get them in the black anymore, but you can now get them in like a lovely cream colour. They're really, really nice. They're not really thick, but they're just nice for autumn and obviously you can tie them with a belt and stuff. And, yeah, they're really nice and they're quite long. Um, I'm five foot six and it comes down to the middle of my calves. So yeah, if you're looking for a quilted coat, the new look ones are lovely. Right, let's go get the lottery. <gasps> Off we go to get the lottery. I can't believe it's so dark. It's about half past six. It's so dark. and there's nothing on the telly as usual <laughs> anyway my dear so we're going to lovely leave you so i've got my final little coffee of the day in my i love shopping mug so let's hope for once we're lucky on the lottery that would be really nice so many many thanks for joining me again today i hope you've enjoyed it if you do enjoy just a bit of genuine real life then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady don't forget my little website is down below my little avon shop is down below where they've got lovely things even advent calendars they've got two advent calendars they've got like a makeupy one and a jewelry one which is really really nice and they're really reasonably priced as well so they're on the avon website at the minute and if you spend 20 pounds you get free uk delivery to your door many thanks again to everybody that donated to our pink thing we did really well didn't we ruby yeah. so we're still collecting it all in but we think it's going to be over 200 so it's really really good so anyway my dears i will love you and leave you i will speak to you tomorrow big hugs everybody bye, bye.